Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings, and today we're going to be going over how to smoke a pork tenderloin on a pit barrel cooker. What is different about this video is that we're going to be making our own spice rub. We're going to start with our dry ingredients, which are brown sugar, sea salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, ground mustard, and cayenne pepper. Today I have a helper. They're moving a little slow. Don't worry, this recipe is so easy, a five-year-old can do it. After adding our dry ingredients to a mixing bowl, go ahead, take a fork or a spoon and mix the ingredients thoroughly. Make sure you get all the clumps and the lumps out. Once you have done that, place the rub off to the side. We'll be using it later. Let's go ahead and get our smoker ready. I'm using some charcoal from a previous smoke. Seeing how this smoke will probably only take about an hour, I do not need fresh charcoal. We're gonna fill one full charcoal chimney, get that lit, dump it on top of our old unlit holes. Let's go inside and prepare our pork tenderloin for the smoker. What I'm doing here is adding our rub that we made previously into a previously used shaker. Uh, if you have any old shakers from previous spices that you use, they definitely do come in handy when you're making your own rub. Take the pork tenderloin out of the package, rinse it off, and then pat it dry. Then we want to cut off any excess skin, we will then apply our canola oil or olive oil binder and then I'll add our seasoning on top. The rub that we're using today is from Hay Grill Hay and it's called the best sweet rub for pork and chicken. Mix of brown sugar, sea salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, ground mustard, and just a kick of heat with the cayenne pepper. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. If you want the full recipe, go on over to smokybeginnings.com. I'll leave a link in the comments. After seasoning both sides of the pork tenderloin, we're gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes and let the seasoning adhere to the skin. It is now time to get the pork tenderloin on the smoker. The smoker is right around 260 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna be smoking along with some zucchini and carrots. Pork tenderloin is a pretty lean meat, so it does smoke pretty fast. So we're gonna close the lid, check our internal temperature in about 30 minutes. So we went ahead and checked our internal temperature. Right now, it's sitting at about 120 degrees. For pork tenderloin, the internal temperature should be anywhere between 145 and 160. So we'll close the lid, and we'll go ahead and check on this in probably another 10, 15 minutes. And we are back. This pork loin's right around 145 degrees Fahrenheit, which technically it is done. However, that is about medium rare. Most people like their pork tenderloin to be well done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this up to about 160, but I will add my glaze here. I'm just using Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. It's gonna pair very nicely with the dry rub that we put on earlier. It's also gonna pair well with our flavoring wood, which is hickory and apple wood. We're gonna close the lid and wait probably another 10 minutes while the barbecue sauce firms up, it becomes a glaze. We're towards the end of the smoke, so don't go anywhere. We have reached our internal temperature. The glaze has firmed up, and now it's time to get these off the smoker. After letting the pork tenderloin rest for five to 10 minutes, it's then time to slice the pork tenderloin. Even with a dull knife like this, you're able to cut right through this tender and juicy tenderloin. All that's left to do is check out your smoke ring, give it a little squeeze, sample it to make sure that it's not poisonous, plate, and then serve to your guests. And that's it. That's how you smoke pork tenderloin on the pit barrel cooker. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on our channel and also visit smokybeginnings.com. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.